I received several emails this week from people asking me if I've heard about the home invasion robbery that took place in Vilk, Obama on May the 20th. There was a home invasion robbery there where there was a woman, her husband, her father-in-law, and two children. And there were uh, reported, I think they said five, as many as five people were there. Uh, well, they, no, they didn't say. I heard from another report, not on this report that I'm reading, that there were five people there that were involved in this home invasion robbery. But it's Francesca Williams, who was a native Colorado, uh, or Colorado native, mother of three, and she was murdered during this violent home invasion robbery. This is according to the Coinca High Life newspaper that I'm getting this from. There's the story that, that we've all heard is that these people uh, entered their place and uh, Michael, her, her husband, was hit in the head with something and, and was down and, or maybe it was her father-in-law, but anyway, Francesca tried to intervene and uh, I've heard everything from her just trying to assist the victim to as going as far as saying she tried to fight and she ended up getting shot and they killed her. And that's a horrible way. We, <clears throat> we hear stories about this all the time. Bill Cabamba is not in my opinion, not the safest place in Ecuador to go for the size of the town that it is. There's been four, at least four daily home invasion robberies there in in recent years. The story that I get from locals here is that uh, the indigenous people that are in that region don't like foreigners there. They don't want them there on their land and they are just causing problems. Do you move to Vilcabamba? Or do you go to Loja or you go to Cuenca? If you want to live in the Andes and you want to live in that region, I don't recommend Vilcabamba. I've always come very short of saying don't move to Vilcabamba, you know, and I've always just kind of, because I don't want to really make any one particular area look too bad like I would uh, Wyakill. I don't recommend anybody moving to Wyakill. I'm saying now, and for the record, that I'm, I'm saying now for the record, I don't recommend anybody moving to Vilcabamba. Things need to settle down there first. So this was a tragic event that took place that shouldn't have happened. And I do have to say that if you do, and I'm speaking to people that are already living here, expats that are already living here, whether it's in Monta or Quito or Cuenca or Vilcabamba, if you're a victim of home invasion robbery, lay down and give them what they want. It's not worth it to put up a fight because they will kill you. They don't think anything about it. So one of these people were stabbed multiple times. The children weren't hurt. <clears throat> but regardless, I mean, there was a death involved. This woman is 45 years old. And that's too young. Too young to die. They were living their dream. For those of you that want to come here and live your dream, there are certain ways that you, you have to go about it. And if you're a victim of crime, the best thing to do is give up, give in, and hope they don't kill you. That can be said for anywhere, whether it's in South America, Central America, or North America. It's common sense, folks. Yes, I've heard about it. I got several emails from people, and, and yeah, we hear about it. There's been several heinous crimes here lately, uh, one of which I report about. It's a funeral home, and that was cartel-related. The one in Montanita was cartel related. Don't let this discourage you from coming here. I say it's still safe to come here, okay? I'm, I'm saying that with every fiber of my existence and my belief, it's still safer here than it is in the United States. We don't have mass shootings, school shootings. We don't have church shootings. We don't have people just going out and shooting and killing people for fun. Most of the crimes here, believe it or not, are committed by people that are trying to raise a family or they're trying to feed themselves. I know I'm not justifying it. Don't get that wrong. But that's usually most of the crimes are petty crimes here, trying to feed themselves. It's an unfortunate situation, but it happened. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. If you like this video, please uh, smash that thumbs up 
button. And let's all, you know, think kind thoughts in our hearts about, our hearts and our minds about this family in Bill Obama and I hope that they manage to get through the rest of their life with as much peace and tranquility as possible. Okay, see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.